Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily get rid of all those team shares you have out there and turn all that content into team sites inside of SharePoint. I'm going to do this by leveraging File Share Librarian, a new feature inside of Storage Point. First, let's take a look at that actual team share I have. So I can see teams and I've got the various team shares out there with content in them. So. I can go into File Share Librarian inside of Central Administration and create a new configuration. So we'll call this configuration Teams. Now I'm just going to use a C drive location here, but in most cases you would probably use a UNC share. So it's validated and I can see those team directories there. I don't want to, at this point, exclude any specific files, but you could if you didn't want to pull in any type of databases or any type of uh, executables, etc. But this will also respect any blocked file types you have in SharePoint. Next, I need to give it a target. So I'm going to point it at our Teams database and Teams site collection we have here. So you can see that it's going to create a site in the destination container for every director it finds under the Teams directory. And I can give it an actual site template I want it to use when it creates those. We'll just use the, the basic one here for team, team sites. We'll just use the basic one here for team sites. I pick a, a server that I want this job to run on and give it a number of threads to use. In this case, just for demonstration, we don't want to simulate and log issues, but you would use that for testing purposes before you run this. We'll go ahead and catalog that file share now, and what it's doing is it's building out that timer job to actually perform the catalog and saving the profile, etc. So we'll wait for this to return control so that we can go to our job status page and monitor the job. Now we can go save this and go to our job status page to see what's going on. We can see that it's already 50% done and if we refresh we can watch it climb. But we're going to zoom ahead to the end just for demonstration purposes. Now we're complete and we can see a summary of what happened. It processed four folders and processed 160 blobs. Now we need to go out to that actual team site and see what content it imported. Now we need to actually go out to that team site and see what it imported. If we switch over to one of the team sites that was supposed to be created, such as finance, we can see that all of that content is in there. And if we go to the drop-down of one of these, see storage point details, we can see that that blob is actually in the team share in a folder called finance. So hopefully this showed you another way that you can take advantage of storage point in order to get all of your team shares into SharePoint and take advantage of all that it can offer.